Welcome to Fun and Games Side Quests. Every episode is a different host sharing a video game they love and why they love it. Hello there. My name is Nagachaka, and I'm a father, a husband, and a middle-aged gamer. And today, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite games of all time, which is Near Replicant, the remastered version, 1.224-744-87. 139. This remastered version is based off the original game Nier, which came out during the PS3 generation. The story takes place in the 30th century, where you get to play as an unnamed protagonist who is on a quest to find a cure for a fatal disease that his younger sister has. And along the way, he makes new friends and companions to help him with saving his sister. Those are all the details I'm going to give about Near Replicant. This is going to be a spoiler-free discussion because it's important that you get the full experience of this game. Near Replicant is directed from Yoko Taro, who is also the director of Near Automata, Dragon Guards 1 and 3, and the creative director for the indie game's Voice of Cards. If you've played a game from Yoko Taro, especially Near Automata, where you got all of the endings, you know that you're in for an experience like no other. I know that a few minutes earlier when I was giving the plot synopsis for New Replicant, you might have been thinking to yourself, this sounds like a typical JRPG where you get to save the world, save people, and all through the power of friendship. And Yoko Taro does this deliberately in all of his games, especially in New Replicant, where the first playthrough seems like this very generic story and it's done deliberately so that your expectations and predictions for the game are going into a very specific direction so that when you come back for the second third fourth and fifth playthrough your expectations and predictions will be completely shattered as you finally learn what the game is actually about i know that i mentioned that there's five endings in this game And endings might be the wrong word, and I don't want to discourage anybody from playing this game because I know that multiple playthroughs can be a very tall order to ask from gamers. Truly, Nier Replicant only has one real ending, whereas the other four should be more viewed from the lens of these are the ends of chapters. But as you're playing it, it'll feel like, oh, I guess this is just the end of the game. But as I mentioned earlier, do yourself a favor and make sure you get to that fifth and final ending where it will recontextualize what you thought the story was about in the earlier playthroughs. It'll also change your view on the characters. It'll change your perspective on your moral compass, the meaning of life, self-identity, friendships, family. It'll really make you think and reflect about all these important aspects. For those of you who have played the original Nier game from the PS3 generation, I want you to know that this fifth ending in the remastered version is completely brand new and adds so much to the experience. So if you were on the fence about playing this remastered version, I can assure you that not only is there a brand new side quest, that brand new ending changes things in incredible ways. Near Replicant is a testament to how important and how awesome video games are. It's The video game format allows for an experience and storytelling that truly can't be achieved through television and movies and music and poetry and art. There's something so immersive about playing a video game and experiencing the story when the controller is in your hands. And Yoko Taro knows this and uses it deliberately to take you on a journey like no other. I can assure you that the story in Near Replicant will have an emotional impact on you when you get to the fifth and final ending. I also want to talk about the other strengths of this game, which is the music and the gameplay in Near Replicant. The music is also from Kaiche Yokabe, who was also the person behind the music and the original soundtracks for Near Automata and other Yoko Taro games. They're very different soundtracks, but you can always tell it's from Okabe. There's a signature to it where this music is, evo- is, is evoking certain emotions. Then the best way to describe it is 
it's a beautiful tragedy the music it's incredible and not only are are these songs beautiful they're also used again very in a in a masterclass way where certain songs are used to comfort you in the beginning of the game where you're thinking and feeling certain things about these characters in these environments but that same song will be used at a later playthrough at a pivotal moment and that song is no longer comforting and has now become this emotionally painful experience it's done in an incredibly deliberate and precise way the gameplay for near replicant is actually a mix of genres which include top down shooting bullet hells dungeon crawling it's generally an action rpg but there's also just so you know there is a text based adventure aspect to the game as well but again primarily it is uh, an action rpg where you get to switch between different weapons which changes the combat quite a bit from spears to swords to heavy swords this gameplay has been updated quite significantly from the original game so again if you were on the fence because you played the original game i can assure you that these new combat mechanics and gameplay features will make the experience much much more enjoyable i can assure you of that If you've played Near Automata, I highly recommend that you check out this game. It does tackle different themes and concepts from Near Automata, but Near Replicant has a very powerful emotional story to share with you. And in my opinion, the characters are actually much better in Near Replicant. Not only will you fall in love with them and the relationships that are developed, but they're just far more relatable and the way their relationships and characters are explored is done in an incredibly phenomenal way. I know on the surface this game looks like a typical weird sci-fi game with repetitive hack and slash mechanics, but I promise you, New Replicant is an experience like no other. So if you're interested in a sci-fi experience that explores friendship, family, responsibility, self-identity, and the many shades and gray areas of our moral compasses and values, please check out near replicant. Thanks Matt and Jeff for this platform where I get to gush about one of my favorite games of all time and thank you everybody for listening and happy gaming. So, I have a question. Have you ever wanted to get into comics but you just didn't know where to start? Well, welcome to Comics Quest. I'm J.D. Martin, and every week I sit down with a guest to talk a comic that I think anybody can pick up and start their comics reading journey. We take a look at psychedelic sci-fi, fantastic action, heart-wrenching love stories, and of course, superheroes. So check us out at certainpov.com or wherever you listen to your podcasts. CPOV. CertainPOV.com.